Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to show you how to duplicate or repeat a shape, any shape, around a circle. And now I also have another video um, that'll be linked right up here that will show you a way to duplicate any shape around any path, not just a circle. But this way uh, that I'm going to show you today is really a quick way of doing it. All right, let's get started. Now this is something that's a newer feature of Illustrator. I want to say maybe October of 2020. So if your version of Illustrator is older than that, you're not going to have the ability to do this. Um, as you can see, I've drawn a few shapes. I've got a circle, a triangle, and then kind of like a brushstroke shape that I created. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit with Command minus or Control minus. I'm going to move this circle down just to give it some room. So I'll get on my selection tool and just click and drag this down like this. Now all we have to do is go to Object, Repeat, and Radial. And I'll zoom back in. You can see it's just taken that shape and repeated it around a circle with just the one click. Now up here in our control panel, we have some options. We can change the number of circles. So if I want to increase this to a ton of circles, I've got 20 in here right now, I get something like this. If I want to increase the radius of the circle, I can do that right here. So I'm just highlighting this and then I'm going to use my up arrow key to make our circle a little bigger but the circle shape is not increasing. If you're not seeing your control panel, you can come up to window and it's right here. Now, another place you can see these same exact features are under your properties panel. So if you like that way better, that's under window properties and you can see them right here, your repeat options. We also have handles, this one right here and these two down here. So if we pull this up, this is going to increase the number of shapes on the circle or if we pull it down, the opposite will happen. These two handles will just remove some of the circles. So if I pull this up like this, we get this effect where those circles are now gone. Now, as I said before, this will work on any shape. So let's try it with a triangle. Object, repeat, and radial repeat. I'm going to increase our number of triangles to about 25, and then I'll make the radius quite a bit bigger. There we go. And let's increase our number of triangles. That looks pretty nice. And then finally, I'll do the same thing with this last one. Object, repeat, and radial repeat. If you have a shape like that, you're going to get something pretty interesting. Let's increase the number. And I'll grab a handle and just decrease the whole thing overall, holding shift. Now we can actually just align these to see what they look like all put together. All right, that looks pretty good. I'll decrease this one a little bit. Now the way these work, um, if you check your appearance, you'll see you have a radial repeat and you can't click on each individual shape on the circle anymore. So if you want to be able to do that, you can select them all. I recommend making a copy off to the side before doing this and then select them and expand. So we can come up here to object expand and just expand the object and the fill. So now we have full control over each shape and how it works. So we could do something like this if we want to. So it's that easy to repeat any shape around the circle. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.